what's going through your mind right now? Probably that final call at the end, could be dominating it. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a difficult one. Huh? It's, a, it's a game of inches, so uh, disappointing. I think the rule probably needs to be ever looked at because uh, the footballers don't score with their hands, so I think his hand's just uh, offside. So it's disappointing at the end. Then. But for me, I'm very uh, pleased with our team's performance. I think we, we, were, we were the better side tonight overall. Uh, you score three, three goals away from home and you should win games. You know, especially against a, a team like Western Sydney. So that's a disappointing part of uh, conceding four goals when you score three for, uh, when you're away from home. But look, overall, pleased with the performance. Um, you know, we'll just continue to build from that. Just taking through what you're talking about there with the, the VAR, I mean, that's something we see in football quite often. Is a, is a, it looks like a marginal offside, but if that's the body part that he can't score with, there's an argument that, that the rule should be sort of changed a little bit. The game's built on uh, scoring goals. We want we want the teams to score goals, and if we're pulling uh, things up for a, a finger or a fingernail, you know, it becomes uh, very disappointing for for the spectator watching the game as well. So, for me, it's very marginal. I think, the, the, like I said, the rule needs to be looked at because he doesn't score with, with his hand; he scores with his feet or his or his head or his chest. But they don't use their hands in football, so it's something that maybe that needs to be looked at. Um, have you been involved in many games like that today as a player or a coach? Uh, as a player, probably when I was at Sydney, we won 5-4 against uh, Central Coast. But uh, look, for me, like I said, we, we score three goals away from home. We should we should come away with three points. We shouldn't concede four goals. And I think, you know, a couple of the goals we were were, were areas where, we, where I think we could have dealt with a lot better. Um, I'm sure you took a little bit of the light though, and a couple of the goals, like Kenny Devlin's in particular, was one of the better goals you've seen anywhere. Yeah, he's got a cracker of a goal, uh, Cammy, and it's funny how football works. Louis got uh, injured in the warm-up, and he's come in, and I think he's done a great job. Um, and just on, um, obviously, I mean, you guys have had the Mexicans following you around it all season, which has been lovely to see, but uh, you know, some Israelis in the crowd there at the time, he was involved in getting them organised, I think, and obviously celebrated one goal and tried to celebrate another with them. That obviously means a fair bit to him. Yeah, 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 every bit of support helps. Obviously, us play, uh, being based in Australia and not having any home games back in Wellington, you know, any uh, support that comes down to support our players individually and collectively, you know, is a bonus for the players. Um, what do you do in a game like this when you're on the bench and you know it's just one of those ones where things are going to happen? Do you just do you try and get messages out there still or do you just throw your hands up and you're in the football box? No, we, we knew, we knew what, how Western Sydney set up and how, what they wanted to do. I thought uh, for a team that usually wants to play out. They were very direct with diagonal balls uh, to, to the two strikers up top and try to play off that. So I think we dealt with it well at times and sometimes we could have dealt with it a lot better. But overall, I think uh, at, when we had, had the ball, we had, we had some good control of it and I think we scored some good goals. But like I said, disappointing to, you know, I think what hurt us the most was conceding that set piece in the second half, allowing them to come back into the game. Over to you, Carly. Before, before we go into any questions, I just want to say uh, thank you to Wellington Phoenix and also thank you to uh, Western Sydney Wanderers for, for what was done at the start of the game because I think today is a very important day. You know, we, we honoured the ones, uh, the people that lost their lives in the, in the, in the, the mosque attack. So I'd just like to say thank you to both clubs. Um, hey. Yeah, hi. I just I just one on, on Tomer. I guess you must be happy at least that he's got that first goal under his belt. Yeah, I think he's got the monkey off his back now. His strikers want to score goals, so he scored a goal. He got his second, which was disallowed. So hopefully that will give him a bit more freedom to to play the game that he normally plays. And 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 football is about confidence. I said that previously, and hopefully he will uh, get a lot of confidence from scoring and, and continue to score in the next few games. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, you. hey it's, it's Phil here. I guess with um, yeah, Tom A came on and decided to take the penalty, which is a pretty ballsy move for a guy, I'm sure, desperate for a goal. Um, but does that show a lot about his, his character, that he was willing to, to step up and take that and get off the mark? Yeah, it shows a lot about, I think, the, the team's character and, and, you know, they want, uh, you know, the team to be su su successful and also Toma to be successful. So, you know, all these steps steps aside for Toma to take it, to build confidence with him and, you know, he knows that, you know, if Toma's doing well, that means the team's doing well. 
Yeah, and um, with Mitchell Duke's goal, did you feel like Tim Payne had been pushed in the lead up to that? I thought there was a slight nudge, which puts uh, Tim off. But I think at times we're a little bit naive. I think if Timmy feels that, he needs to go down because if you go down, then then generally the referees, uh, you know, uh, give a free kick. So sometimes we're a little bit naive in those situations. And how much of a hole did it kind of leave you not having a right back? I mean, yeah, Alex Roof, I guess, you know, had some involvements going forward and stuff. But, um, yeah, just looking back at a few of those goals, it kind of seemed like the right back area, um, you know, where um, Wolverine was kind of left open, um, you know, on, on their kind of first goal as well. Yeah, when you play against a back five, and uh, they play two up front, so Alex gives uh, Payne a bit cover, especially from deliveries from our left-hand side. So we spoke about this before the game. When you play against a back five, our tens need to track inside to the box as well. So that's uh, that's how they scored the first goal because we didn't track the uh, wing back into that space. Uh, and look, for me, Alex did a great job. He's not a right back, but he uh, you know he, he filled a void, and I thought he, he played out well with the ball at times, and he defended well at times. It's not his natural position, but uh, you know, Louis getting injured, we had to make quick quick decision on who who stepped in. Yeah, and um, just to add to the drama, there were some photos of a fan getting kicked out of the stands for um, what was captioned as um, having to go at you. What was the um, the issue there? He just thought I was a top bloke. That's it. <laughs> awesome. Cheers, bro. Thanks. Hey, if you, Andrew here. Um, just on the decision to put Alex Roof in at right back, you know, you could have put Josh Laws in at centre back, put Tim out right. Like you say, Alex is in the right back. What was the sort of thinking behind the way you did go? The the thinking behind was if I put Lawsy on and he, he's. He, if he got injured, we had no defenders left on the bench. So then we we're going to have to make another change. So uh, the idea was to to bring Cammy in and put Roofs there. And if you know if Timmy or Liam broke down, then we had Josh Law still available on the bench. Oops. Sorry. Fair enough. Um, what did you make? Sorry. What did you make of that Cam Devlin Clayton Lewis midfield partnership? I know I asked you about the other two. Yeah, but what I, did you make of them? I think they worked well together. I thought, uh, you know, they worked hard. They they cut a lot of balls off uh, that would try to play it in between the lines. And and look, look at the end of the day, I'm, I think I'm very fortunate with the, the, those three that I have, and even Matty Rydenton on the bench available to play in those positions. So, you know, it's good to have that competition within the team. And and I think you know, Cammy coming in did it did a great job with Clay. Is that something that gives you food for thought going forward, even though it's. You know, it could be harsh on Alex, given it's not his fault he had to go out to right back? No, well, at the end of the day, we'll, we'll have a look at it and we'll have a look how the week looks again and then we'll go from there. I mean, just on the you know fan getting kicked out of the stands, you know, that is quite a serious sort of thing to happen. You know, was he saying something derogatory towards you? Yeah, look, I think I think there's more important things. I think we can talk about the entertaining game that was played uh, the 90 minutes that was played, Andrew. For me, look, at the end of the day, fans are fans. They can say what they want. Uh, you know, for me, for me, it's irrelevant. Um, but just on the game, then, you know, are you disappointed you weren't able to see it out and, you know, get at least a point at 3-3? Yeah, it's disappointing to concede the uh, the fourth one. Um, like I said, I think the second goal hurt us conceding early in the second half, which gave them a bit of momentum. But for me, I still believe the boys uh, show fantastic character to to come back and and uh, and go again. Uh, like I said, you know, three three, you score like three goals away from home, you should you should come away with a win. But unfortunately, tonight we didn't. I guess the thing is, yeah, at three three, you were still searching for a win, which. Probably shows something about the character of um, you know your side. Well, the thing is, we we want to play football, and I think we played some really good football tonight. And and where we're sitting at the moment, we uh, you know one point is one point, but uh, three points would have been great for us. Okay, cool. thank you. Thank you. Well, just on VAR again, just <laughs> if you were on the chance to just remove it from the game, would you? Yeah, look, I. I it's uh, it's there to correct human error at times. But, like, even uh, I think the Central Coast game, how good was it when the, the linesman just put his flag up when it was offside, when you could see it was offside, and we didn't have to wait 30 seconds for, for the play to come back? You know, I think, I think at times it, it plays its role within the game. But, uh, look, at the end of the day, for me, whether it's there or not, it doesn't matter. Is football more fun for it? 
football. It's fun. Look, there are errors. Players make errors. Uh, referees make mistakes. And, you know, those little calls will, would always go to the to, to the team that was attacking to create an advantage. And, and like I said, football football is about goals and spectators come to watch goals. And, and I think at times those little uh, inches actually stop that from happening.